Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I have another tutorial for you guys with an update to the Amazon Fire Sticks and Fire TVs. So Amazon has started rolling out a new operating system update, which is uh, version 5.0.5.1. There's a few things that this update does, but one of the major things that it does is that it disables the Firestarter launcher. The Firestarter launcher is a launcher that's used to bypass a registration page. You know, for most people, when you boot up your device, you run into this registration page and then a launcher comes up after you don't have to log into an Amazon account. Well, this update is doing away with that launcher. So essentially what you want to do is you'll want to log into an account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you guys through the process of creating a free Amazon account that takes no more than 15 seconds. It's really that easy. The trick is you want to do it either from a computer or from a smartphone. You do not want to go to your Amazon device and click create account. If you go to create account here, it's going to ask you to register your credit card information. If you use your smartphone or a browser on a PC, a computer, all you have to do is put an email, a name, and a password, and that's it. So we're going to go to the browser on my computer. So I'm mirroring my Amazon Fire TV screen here. So here we're going to open up a browser. I'm at Amazon.com. So let me type that in again. Amazon.com. Okay. So when you get to the Amazon.com homepage, right here it says hello sign in there's an option that says new customer start here so i'm going to click here so this here is your option this is you can choose to create an actual account with your information you can use fictitious information whatever you want i'm because this is for the purpose of this tutorial only i'm going to use fictitious information i already have an actual account with my name so i'm going to say john no. I'm going to use an email address. We'll say John Doe2060 at yahoo.com. And you can say whatever password you want. And I'm going to say create account. Keep in mind, this is not a real email address either. Is Amazon going to care about that? Create account. No, but for my personal account, I didn't use my real email address. So here's John Doe's account. So that's it, guys. You just created an Amazon account. It's that simple. So now we're going to go back. I'm going to go to Cody. So here's my Amazon Fire TV. Now that I created an account, Amazon2060 at Yahoo.com, I'm going to go to register. And I'm going to type it right in here, John Doe. Twenty sixty at yahoo.com next and my password is Android do not use this to register your device this is this account I will disable so this is for tutorial purposes only and that's it so now it's going to give me a see successfully registered so now so now I'm going to say yes, continue as John Doe. And here it is. Now I'm, you've logged into your Amazon device with the account you just created. And so here's now I'm going to show you how you can get a Cody shortcut right here in the home screen so you don't have to go the long way to access Cody. So we're going to go down to settings. And we're going to go to Applications. And we're going to go to Manage Installed Applications. And we're going to go to Kodi. And we're going to launch Kodi. So Kodi just opened up. Tip for everybody, I always mention this. If you're going to be moving Kodi around for whatever reason if you're going to disconnect the power from your device fire tv fire stick make sure you exit Kodi first and you want to exit Kodi appropriately by going to the power button in the bottom left select that and selecting exit so all we have to do here is open Kodi and close it so now i'm closing Kodi 
We're going to wait for that to close. Okay. So now you, have, you can hit return on your fire TV or fire stick remote to go all the way out. Or you can hit the home button and it'll take you right up to the home option. So now we're home. So there's one more thing here that we need to do. Now Cody is under the app section now. Okay. So apps. You see there's Cody. So now I'm going to launch Cody from here one more time. And now I'm going to close it again. So this is going to register Cody as a recent app now. And it's going to put it right smack in the home screen. All right, so now if I go up to home. Boom, there's Cody, guys. And you can launch Cody right from here. Okay? So keep in mind, this is not affecting everyone immediately as Amazon doesn't just push one update to all devices. They gradually push out their updates. So for those of you who still have a fire starter that's functioning on your device, as soon as that update kicks in, you're going to be introduced to the registration page. And then just follow this tutorial to get your device back up and running. Okay? Hope this helps you guys out. You guys have a wonderful evening. Take care. I'll talk to you guys soon.